Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm showing you how to cook three pounds of frozen ground beef right inside your Instant Pot. You are not going to want to miss this one. So I'm Kristen. I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com. I am also the sister who runs the YouTube channel. That's why you get to see me all the time while my other sisters do other jobs for Six Sister Stuff. I'm gonna be honest here, I did not think that you could cook ground beef in the Instant Pot. I didn't even know it was an option. And then I got a little message from someone in my Instant Pot Facebook group that said they were gonna try and cook it in their Instant Pot. And so I did some research, I figured, okay, I'm gonna try it and see what happens. And I was blown away. Usually I'm pretty picky about how my meat tastes. I like to cook it in the skillet, I like to drain my grease, but cooking in the Instant Pot literally melts the grease off of your beef. It goes into the bottom of the pot while your meat stays on top. So I cook my meat frozen and I'm gonna show you how to cook it frozen. I've never tried it thawed before, it's on my to-do list, but the frozen meat turned out perfect. If you've had your Instant Pot for a while, you know that cooking meat in the Instant Pot makes it so tender and so delicious. Ground beef is gonna turn out the same exact way. It's a different level of ground beef and it's so good. All right guys, if you wanna see how to do it, let's go to my kitchen and I'll show you how to make this Instant Pot frozen ground beef cooked in your Instant Pot. All right, so I'm gonna start with the three pounds of ground beef. Yes, that's a lot of ground beef, but I'll show you what I do with it later. So I'm gonna put my little trivet in the bottom of my pan. Then I'm gonna add about one cup of water because you have to have the liquid in order for it to pressurize. Now it's time for the meat. Now I've put this on my counter for about an hour. It's still really, really frozen. So I'm gonna break it apart so I can put it in pieces in the Instant Pot. Now if you need to break up your meat into a few different pieces, it will still work. You just wanna make sure that your meat is below the fill line so the lid will go on your Instant Pot. Now I'm just gonna hurry and go wash my hands and then it's time to put the lid on. Now you want to make sure that it is sealed all the way and turn the little knob so it's on sealing, not venting. Okay, so I love my manual button or just a normal pressurized, pressure cook, whatever your Instant Pot says, and we're going to 25 minutes. Now when your Instant Pot's done, it will start counting up or it's releasing on its own. I let it release on its own for about 10 to 15 minutes. Turn the knob over, there's no steam to come out so I can take my lid off. Now, I wish you could smell my kitchen because it smells so good right now. Now, it looks like it's still like a brick of meat, but don't worry. We're going to turn it into ground beef and it will really look ground up. Okay, so I'm going to take my two big chunks and if you have multiple little chunks, put them all into a bowl. And the first thing I did is cut it up just a little bit. Now, this is cooked together like a meatloaf really is cooked together. So you have to split up the meat. And doing this, it was the easiest to use a knife. Then once I cut it up into big chunks, I got my chop and stir. If you don't have one of these with your ground beef, I highly suggest getting one. They're like six bucks on Amazon and it's my favorite. So I just chopped up all of my meat and that really is all there is to it. This is gonna be my new way of cooking ground beef and I am so excited. Now I just have to show you that all the grease literally dripped to the bottom of the pan which makes it a whole lot healthier. Okay now three pounds of meat is a lot so I'm splitting it up into three different one pound bags. So I'm going to freeze two of my bags that each have one pound of ground beef and then I'm going to put one in the refrigerator because I am making taco soup. I love having ground beef just sitting around all cooked, ready to go. Then if I need to do a quick meal of tacos, taco soup, something that is so simple that has ground beef in it, I can just grab it out of the freezer and go. All right, you guys, that's all I have today for my Instant Pot Mondays. Now, if you want to join my Facebook group, I'll put a link in the description for you. Or if you want to follow me on YouTube, every Monday I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe. So make sure you push that subscribe button and the little bell so you can get the notifications so you can get cooking with your Instant Pot. All right guys, see you later.